Hey YouTube, it's your boy D7 here. So the iOS 10.3.3 jailbreak has been released named Helix. This supports 32-bit devices running iOS 10.3.3. So that's iPhone 5, iPhone 5C and iPad 4. So I was holding back because I wanted to bring you a no computer jailbreak tutorial. At the same time, I'll show you the original link. So in front, I've got the iPad 4 running 10.3.3. All the three devices buffer at 10.3.3, so they may as well be running. So in the description, this is the original link. So this is the impact link. You can download the .ipa here. This is the developer's own page and use impactor to install it and i'll have this in the uh, description named original link with my impactor tutorial for those of you that want to use it without a computer or don't have access to a computer the link next to it will say download helix no computer it'll bring you to tweakbox once again big shout out to nash for helping me out sign the app if you come to this page and it takes over the page with an advert just refresh the page till you get this advert that will allow you to cancel it top left hand corner x tap apps scroll down to tweakbox apps and then scroll down till you see helix jailbreak there it is hit install and install on the pop-up hit the home button and that will go directly to your home screen okay so once installed third party procedure applies we need to manually allow access we do that by going to settings general and scroll down till you see profiles device management or profiles and device management tap the profile hit trust, trust again, and now we can launch the application. So I'm going to take it out of the screen recorder because obviously when it runs the jailbreak, it will jam the recording. Okay, so let's launch it up. And all we need to do now is just tap jailbreak. Okay, so after the reboot, there is no CDR, so I'm not going to cut the video and make it look perfect. We'll run it again and hit jailbreak. Uh, this time it looks good. Hit done on storage full. That's a normal pop-up, by the way. It doesn't mean anything. Okay. Uh, there we go. So now we have Cydia. Hit to launch. Wait for it to do its thing. Let's hit return. And at this point, we do want to upgrade essentials. Confirm. Okay, so when we go to changes and all your packages are in here, if you don't get anything in here, just hit the refresh. Now, it will also believe this is semi-untethered, which means when we reboot, same as uh, Yalu, I believe we would just need to hit kickstart. Let's put that to the test. So yeah, so we would need to hit Helix again, kickstart, this is on reboot. Magic. So what next? I will have some attached videos for what you can do in Cydia, uh, best sources to add in the description. So I'll just have those videos attached so you can get on with those after. So guys, thanks for watching. It's your boy D7 as always. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys real soon.